Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mitzima Naga and I am your N3 Building Science Tutor. So guys, before we get into this video, make sure you hit the notification bell for more tutorials and make sure you subscribe. So today we are going to look at beams. When I'm talking about beams, I'm talking about reactions, diagrams, shear forces, bending moments. Okay, so today we are going to determine graphically the magnitudes of reactions RA and RF. So to determine graphically these reactions, we are going to use these specified scales. We have space diagram scale of one centimeter is to one meter, and we have a vector diagram scale of one centimeter is to two kilonewton. So we are going to start by adjusting your forces, just like I did here. You're going to adjust your forces downwards just like I did here. Then you have force A, which is RA, you have force B, which is 3 kilonewton, force C, 6 kilonewton, force D, it's 5 kilonewton, and force E, it's 1 kilonewton. And then you have force F, which is RF. Right. So now we are going to draw a vertical line anywhere around this space. Okay. So we are going to draw a vertical line anywhere around this space. So this is my vertical line right here. Okay. So in this vertical line, we are going to put we are going to put up this alphabet here, right? So we are going to start with alphabet A. With um I'm going to put my alphabet A right here. So this will be my point A. Then from point A to B, I have a force of 3 kilonewton. I'm going to take this 3 kilonewton. I'll divide it by 2 kilonewton. 2 kilonewton is the given scale, is the given vector diagram scale, right? So I'm going to take this force of 3 kilonewton divided by 2 kilonewton. Then I'll have 1,5, right? So I'm going to measure 1,5 here. This will be my 1,5 and this point will be point B. Sorry about this. This point will be point B. Okay guys, so this point will be point B. From B to C, I have this force of 6 kilonewton. I'm going to take this force divided by 2 I'm going to get 3 so I'm going to measure 3 from point B okay I want to use another ruler because this one is not visible enough okay as I was saying <clears throat> I'm going to take okay from point B to C I have a force of 6 kilonewton I'm going to take this force divided by 2 kilonewton then I have 3 I'm going to measure that 3 from point B going down and here is my point C so I'll have this point as point C from C to D I have a force of 5 kilonewton I'm going to take this 5 I'm going to divide it by 2 and then I'll have 2.5 right then I'm going to measure 2.5 from point C going down then I have point D right so from D to E I have one kilo Newton force so I'm going to take this one divided by 2 and I will have 0 comma 5 then from point D I'm going to measure 0 0.5 then I have point E so this here is point E. Now, for point F, it's impossible for us to get point F because we don't have the magnitude here, right? So, I mean, we don't have um, a force here, right? So now, what we are going to do, we are going to find a point where that point will be our origin right so anyway it's 
um it's up to you guys whether you need to do it on this side or on this side so i prefer to do it on this side so i'll find my point anyway anywhere on this side i'll create a point anywhere this side and then that point will be my point o and that's my origin right the next step you're going to transfer this point a to the origin which is point o you're going to transfer then you transfer again point b you transfer again point b then you transfer point c to the origin point d point d to the origin and point e again to the origin point e to the origin when you're done with transferring your points to the origin you are going to transfer these lines to this to these spaces available right so here i'm going to start with this point point a so i'm going to start transferring this line a o right to transfer this line i'm going to put my ruler like this right and then i'm going to take another ruler put it under that ruler parallel to that ruler and to transfer i'm going to transfer my line like this um, okay, sorry about that. I'm going to transfer my line like this. So, I'm going to draw my line right here. So, this line is this line. So, in other words, actually, I drew this line parallel to this one, right? But to draw it... Uh, parallelly so it will be um, difficult for you to get um, the, the, the original size right so the simple method you just transfer okay now we are going to transfer this line BO to the space of B right and I'm going to put my ruler like this take another ruler put it like this and then you start transferring okay sorry about that then you start um, transferring right <coughs> sorry now we are going to transfer line C O. We're going to transfer it to the space of C. Right, C O is here. You transfer line C O. Let's transfer it like this. Okay. Sorry about this. Okay, this method is not working for me as you can see here so I'm gonna try to put this ruler other way around and see if it's working okay oh no this one is not gonna work okay okay guys finally I found a way so we're going to transfer this line like this Transfer it like this. Here is my line. C O. Right? Then you are going to transfer line D O. This is line D O. I'm going to transfer line D O. Okay. That's awesome likely impossible for us to do it that way 
this is how I'm going to transfer it. There you go. This is my line right here. Now I'm going to transfer this one. Line EO. I'm going to transfer line EO just like this. There we have it. Line E O. Right. When you're done with this method, you're going to join this point and this point. Okay, let's join our points. Let's join our point. You join your points using um dashed lines. Some they call it um do they call this lines um point dashed line something like that right after that you're going to transfer this line into this diagram okay so you're going to take a ruler place a ruler parallel to that line then take another ruler you put it there you go to point o you go to point O. Now here, it's my point O. But if you can see here, um, it's not going to give us the correct line. So we're going to find another side of transferring this line. Right? Um, okay. There we go, guys. Um. You're going to transfer this line like this. You go to point O. You go to point O and throw the line parallel to this one. Here is the line. So, at this line, right? This line where it intersects with our vertical line. It's going to be point F, right? So this point here, it's point F, right? So when you're done, you are going to measure from point A to point F. Then you take, sorry, you take that measurement, you multiply it by two, then it gives you the magnitude of RF right <clears throat> and then you're going to measure from point F to E take that measurement you multiply it by 2 it's gonna give you the magnitude of RA okay <coughs> sorry about that we are going to measure from point A to point F we have 4.2 we have four sorry we have 4.2 so 4.2 we're going to take 4.2 we multiply it by 2 and let's see what we have um for 4.2 multiply by 2 we have 8.4 kilo newton this is R A. Now for R F, we're going to measure from F to E. We have three point four. We have three point four. We're gonna take three point four. We multiply it by two, and we have six point eight. So three point four multiply it by two. We have RF as 6.8 kilo newton. So this, um, so this force here, it's 6.8 kilo newton, and this force here, it's 8.4 kilo newton. And that's that. We are done. We are done determining 
the reactions graphically so so guys i wanted to make these diagrams more visible to you guys and i hope they are thank you for watching this video see you next time make sure you hit the notification bell for more tutorials and subscribe to my channel thank you